dear students welcome back to sachin biology classes in this session we are studying about a pollination and i have written on a board that what we discussing in this session regarding pollination so we discussing here the definition and types of pollination so just you look into the board so you will come to know the definition do you know very well the definition is that a transfer of pollen grain from anther to the stigma of the flower okay so this is called a pollination and as we all know very well so to carry the pollination process the pollen grains and gynoecium are very essential the pollen grains are a male gamete that born in anther and a female gamete is called gynoecium that develops within the ovary and these two are very essential for a tube pollination process let us discuss the types there are basically two types of pollination can be seen one is autogamy and another one is allogamy auto is nothing but self gamy is nothing but gametes does not mean that a self pollination and second one is that allogamy so it is nothing but a cross pollination and in self pollination or in autogamy you can see the two types of uh, flowers there is a chasmogamous flowers and another one is a cleistogamous flowers i will discuss with you in detail regarding the differentiation between the chasmogamous flowers and cleistogamous flower later part of this session and next one is that allogamy it is nothing but a cross pollination and you can see there are two types here gatonogamy and xenogamy okay and this is what about the pollination and types of pollination so these two diagrams are enough in order to understand the complete about types of pollination so just you look here the transfer of pollen grains just you consider so these are nothing but anthers and from this anthers the pollen grains are released and they reach the stigma of the same flower the transfer of pollen grains from anther to the stigma of the same flower so we can call them as self pollination or autogamy okay and this is what autogamy and next you can see here the transfer of just you consider here this is an anther and this is a stigma and this is an anther okay the transfer of pollen grain from anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower within the same plant is called a gynogamy is called a gynogamy and what is xenogamy so the transfer of pollen grains from anther to the stigma of the different flower of in another plant so this is a one plant and this is a one plant one plant will get that same flower in the pollen grains will anther in the stigma ke transfer aitondre adanna navu self pollination anta karithivi anther will get that pollen grains bere flower in the stigma ke transfer aadre adhe plant in odre adakke anta karithivi gaitano gyan anta karithivi one vele ಬೇರೆ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಇನ್ ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೇನ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಮಾ ಕ್ಕೆ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಆಯಿತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಯುಕ್ಸಿನೋಗ್ಯಾಮಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಲಿನೇಷನ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಟೋಗ್ಯಾಮಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಲೋಗ್ಯಾಮಿ ಇನ್ ಅಲೋಗ್ಯಾಮಿ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದಟ್ ಗ್ಯಾಟೋನೋಗ್ಯಾಮಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಜೈನೋಗ್ಯಾಮಿ so let us know gamy and in xenogamy so the gynogamy it is a functionally considered as a cross pollination but genetically it is similar to autogamy or a self pollination because it do not induce any kind of a genetically a different plant because the transfer of pollen grains taking place from anther to the stigma of the other flower in the same plant hence 
So there is no any genetically variable plants are produced by this process. But only the one type of pollination during the pollination it brings the genetically a different pollen grains to the stigma that is nothing but xenogamy. So it is responsible to induce a genetically variable plants. And uh, here we are studying in detail about the Chasmogamous flowers and Clistogamous flowers. And uh, you can look into the board, so difference between a Chasmogamous and as well as Clistogamous flowers. The Chasmogamous flowers, the flowers open exposing anthers and stigma. So it is uh, very clearly the anthers and stigma, they are open or they show we they are very attracted for external agents to carry the pollination. In Tumba Sulhoid Ni Vartamarkal Vekanagidra now Haviscus flower the Gamprasaki. Haviscus flower it shows self-pollination because both the anthers and stigma they are present in a one flower, so there is a chance of self-pollination and even it may show a gaitanagami and then a day plant a little bit the bare flower the anthers a little bit the pollen grains so transfer of the chances of the probability now we will note that they know the flowers open exposing anthers and stigma how they own the flower tumba well exposed i get right yeah do anthers with the stigma can i be car type to over Pollinating agents के attract आता है इधर है और क्या नाम है इनका करेक्टर वो chest मोगामस flower से भेद करेक्टर and what about the clisto gamus clisto is nothing but a barrier and gamma is nothing but a gamus so means there is a barrier to avoid a cross pollination that's it so they are nothing but a clisto gamus flowers and they never support a cross pollination or allogamy at any chance or at any condition and you can see and here the flowers are remain closed that is the reason I told you that clistogamous always remain closed they do not support a cross pollination and uh, here the flowers may be undergo self pollination or a cross pollination because they are well exposed there is a chance of transfer of pollen grains from stigma of the anther to the stigma of the same flower or anther to the stigma of another flower in the same plant so there is a chance hence there is a possibility of self pollination or cross pollination but here they completely the male and female reproductive structures are completely packed so they do not allow for cross pollination so that is the reason the flowers undergo only self pollination and the pollinating agency is often required obviously when the plants in the when the flowers are well exposed with anthers and stigma they need certain agents for pollination process like biotic and abiotic components in the category way example like water bodu water tagal bodu wind tagal bodu insect pollination tagal bodu and uh, insect tagal bodu ant kod bodu butterflies kod bodu bees kod bodu so they are all pollinating agents in the category way so the pollinating agency is nothing but agents are required often it is required but here there is no required kind of pollinating agents to carry the pollen grains to the anther to stigma because they already lies close to each other and one more thing we need to understand where self pollination are going to one these two things are very important the flowers are going to anther to stigma they should lie close to each other and another important point is that synchronization and very correct about the self pollination success at the kind of synchronization synchronization and right pollen grains release are go sandar brother lay stigma receptivity open at the country that can have synchronization and very correct way are conditioning and synchronization it is very important to carry the self pollination process so it takes place obviously and uh, here the low extent pollinating agency is required so okay this is what about the uh, pollination and about the types of pollination and uh, in the next session we can meet with a new concept until that take care please always remember study for knowledge not for marks and until that take care bye